over the blind for Gaia. And Martin, Martin! Getting its view of this kick at goal. And he's got it! Kamali puts the kick over and across. There's a try coming. Craig Smith, not in possession. The Hooter has gone. Melbourne has won it. Melbourne. Grab your piece of history now. The official NRL Grand Final video at these stores now. Nineteen ninety nine, a year of rugby league worth celebrating like no other. A pulsating period of blood, sweat, and tears, of triumph and tragedy. A year when the game found a fabulous new home called Stadium Australia and the fans came flooding back. A year that had no shortage of entertainment and drama, both on and off the field. As the understandable emotion over mergers later gave way to the belief of more promising futures. A year when we sadly farewelled a long list of departing champions in one breath and hailed their skillful successes in another. That is just absolutely magnificent. It's brilliant. Another year of blockbusting hits and utterly breathtaking tries. That is, that is one of the rugby league tries. That might be the best of 99. That was sensational. A season that began back in early March with the team that would eventually come to be the new kings of rugby league. Scott Hill, Nick House cut out, Gaia, Matt Gaia scores the opening try of 99. But I mean, they're little things that hopefully he's learnt that first half. No, thanks very much for your time, Peter, and good luck. Thanks, Phil. Mr. Phil Blake and also Peter Mulholland there from the Penrith Panthers. Kearney stepping off the oh. right boot. There's the offload of the night. Hill, a beauty on the inside. Robbie Ross goes for the line and picks up the second try for Melbourne. It was a crack. They had their backs to the wall for about seven or eight minutes. Ed. Penrith had the ball for probably four or five sets. He said, here it is, give me the ball, I'm going 40-20. He did that, that's the special part of his game now. He's got the vision, and then he set up the try to boot. Tony Martin. They should start playing the Jaws music, because this side's starting to go into a frenzy now. Melbourne just moving the ball all over the place. There are Melbourne players everywhere. Bowden. Now Swain pins the ears back. He's Goes for the try line, and he'll get there. Two tries in two minutes for the Melbourne Storm. Being up in his face with Shields. Kosev. Away to Hill, stepping back inside. Torrance only has one to beat. They won't stop him. Terry Hill plunges over, and now there's a fight in goal after it. Hughes is waiting a dummy half. Gives it away to Andrew Johns, away to brother Matthew. Good flat pass to Shields in a gap. The pass didn't go to hand. Now Moody puts the left boot on it. A chance here for the Knights. Oh, oh. flying through a terrific try. Andrew Johns has pounced. Dimmick again on the side of the ruck. Dictating play. Makes it to the halfway. Stands. Offloads. Cleaned up by Parramatta. Kenwell with a bit of space. Back it goes to Smith. He offloads McCracken. McCracken for the line. McCracken will score the first try. Jared McCracken. It's 4 0. The Eels over the Dragons. Barrett. Ainsco. Got away from one. Two. This should be a reply. Ainsco. Back on the inside. Tracy. Yeah. Around a dummy half, Penner. This is how Dimmick gives it to Jason Smith. He picks up Kelly! Gives it back to Jason Smith. Smith for the line. Jason Smith, what a try! The match winner! The Parramatta Eels! Stewart looking to put the long pass on, and it's gone straight into the arms of the number 12. Bradley Clyde has scored off the Ricky Stewart pass. How appropriate. Gully. Iro can put the pass. Nicole back and away. James Smith. There's a chance on for the Rabbits. Garling is over. 
10 metres out. One and a quarter minutes to go. Canterbury by two. Trindle across the ground. Duneman, can he pass? Yes, he can. Trindle gets it away. He goes in in the corner. He's in in the corner. They go to the right. Now they come left. Graham. Ferris. McKenna. McKenna has pace to burn. And try number five for Cronulla. Oh, good hands in the end. Eddinghausen, catch for himself. Will he win the chase? They'll bring down Shark Park if he scores. He does exactly that. On an incredible weekend for the code, it was an early Shark warning that most critics still chose to ignore in dismissing Cronulla's chances for 99. Alarm bells also rang at Sydney City when they had skipper Brad Fittler sent off for descent in a shock loss to Auckland. The Roosters recovered swiftly to massacre Manly, as we'll see shortly, but we begin our recollection of round two with Parramatta shutting down Newcastle at Marathon Stadium. Down the left wing, Wagon, Wagon, he'll go all the way. Wagon scores. Early stage of second half. Matthew Johns, yes, Butterfield, gets it away, Conley. Conley scores for Newcastle. It has taken its toll. Now Kelly, one of the stars of that first half. He's through, he's away! Kelly's away! Don't look round, son. There's nothing coming that can hurt you. Kelly puts it over the line. They didn't miss him. Mackay, Ward, Tracy, Stewart, Corey Hughes, and Bradley Clyde! Rehearsed move has come off absolutely perfect. They don't come off any better than that. Pelican scores for the record. Canterbury, Stewart to the open side. Here's a try. Willie Talau goes to power. Willie Talau has scored. He has broken the deadlock. Brian Grant, letting play continue on. Oh, now Vayner Colo makes a mistake. Picked up by Smith. As he gets oh. free of a tackle. Oh, but a great ball is lost. Oh. He was tackled oh, only just though by Nagus. A quick play of the ball. Yes. Yes. From dummy half will score. Trindle. Away to Schloss. They run it on the last tackle. Run well. Hooky outside him. He comes back on the inside. That's Got the ball off. back. Play on. Trindle has it. Pushes away. You've got to really talk, and you just watch Jason, he's always cheering those forwards up. Taylor, the captain to show the way, Muir, early opportunities for the Warriors, they didn't come up with any points, and the Bears on breakaway, Butner puts the foot down, waves them goodbye, what a comeback. Great scoring opportunity for the Roosters early on, Fittler gave it to Lamb. Lamb to Rickinson, Rickinson for the line, Rickinson will score the first try. Luke Rickinson in for the four-pointer. I thought the, the more preferred option would have been the player just simply to take the ball up, make sure they've got some safety. Another attacking ploy coming from the Roosters. Walker up from fullback, got the pass to Miles, Miles from the line, and Robert Miles will score another try. Hang on, hang on. Quick tap by the Roosters. Oh. The gap opened up brilliantly. Inside it goes Walker. Now he's got Miles. It was Manly's biggest defeat in 52 years, and it left the Sea Eagles point conceded ledger at a massive 87 after just two outings. While Penrith cruised home against North Queensland, shock defeats were suffered by both Brisbane and Melbourne, but then came face to face the following weekend, and on their home soil, the reigning premiers were humbled by the side that eventually seized their crown. Second try. Swain Kamali, 40 metres out. It's a quick hands from Hill for Martin. Then on for Bai. Bai is 20 metres out. Inside the ball comes, and Melbourne have got another one. Robbie Ross scores it. But he made the comment before the match that Kearney hasn't really produced his best yet. I think the same could still be said on today's effort. 
which I guess is a positive. The best is yet to come as Martin gets over the 30 metre line. 20 Martins away from Melbourne. He's only got to beat Bill Harrigan to get there. Andrew, that next week they travel to Shark Park on a Saturday night. Not just that, out of the next six games, they've got five away. So, uh, don't they need some wins? Comes here for Kearns. He's being spun around, still able to offload. And then a bit of basketball play from the Storm. Kamali, fingertip control. Floating the ball there for Martin. Look out for Marcus. Here he is, Marcus Pine. Almost away from Sailor. Got it on for Kamali. Oh, this is beautiful. Wayne Evans, a front rower, finishes off. As good a movement you'll see. Melbourne Storm. Nick Graham, the line for Ferris. The dummy, the good ball, the Donaghy, Peachy. This should be a try. It is. Brett Howland, and that should be the ball game. For another. About to put on another try, maybe. Stevens. Stevens, the big bloke. He strolls over. Stepped off the right foot. He doesn't score too many, does he? He was about seven or eight metres behind the footy. He could have been a little bit flatter and might have been a chance of just about getting there. Greg Smith. Craigie. Try time again. Number three, in fact, for Lenny Beckett. And games earlier on in the season. Never know when you'll need them. Talau. Smith, quick hands for Silver. The dummy. The step. The step and the dummy again. Never try. That is superb. Now, quick play the ball and advance that football. Well, Newcastle need to score again because, I mean, they don't have to, but you just sense that if... Oh. If there's any way that the dogs can get over the line, they will. They have the ball back. Price has spot the wide open. They'll get another one. No. Peter Shields, was it? In fact, Hughes made the tackle. Stewart. Silver. Silver will come around. Improve the position. His second try in four minutes. Rod Silver is on fire. Plants still a couple of metres on their own side of halfway. McClendon running. He went straight past everybody. Just patting the beat. He has some support. He gives it back to Rod Mavon. They'll score under the post. Corvo plays it back to Wolford with McClendon now. Stepping off both feet. Oh, he went through them again. They won't get him. Patton comes across. He's a genius, this young bloke. The Raiders score early in the second half. Brown it is. Goes to the right-hand side. He had hardly anybody out there. Blacklock was the oh, only player. What a take. Did he get the ball down? That is the question. The Dragons are on fire. Brown. Short ball for Corey Pearson. Flings it back to Brown. Numbers on the left-hand side. Blacklock turns it back to Tracy. They're in again. The Dragons are coming to get them. The last 10 seconds of the game. St. George. Illawarra to the death. Trying. Brown goes to the air. Going back is Maybach. Oh, leaping high and taking it. In marvellous fashion with Rod Wishart, he has scored an incredible try and tied this ball game up. Unbelievable try there. The Dragons are waiting back watching this kick on the halfway line. Bartram from 18 metres out, he strikes it nicely. St George Illawarra win for the first time in their Premiership line. Oh, unbelievable stuff. You can see the players. They knew they had to win here tonight, 16-14. And the dying seconds of the match, and the supporters have gone mad. The players have gone mad. They're all so happy because that's what they did to turn this season around. Chalk up victory number one for the NRL's first joint venture, thanks to the steady boot of Wayne Bartram. It wasn't quite as close at Penrith, where the home side cracked 60 against Western Suburbs. And Sydney City managed to keep Parramatta scoreless, while Balmain recorded back-to-back -back wins which is what the Dragons aim to do in round four when they renewed acquaintances with South at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Reuben picked up Tricky Trindle instead. Here's a pass away to Lee Hook. He's got plenty of pace. He's scorching for the corner. Pops the flag on the inside to Darryl Trindle. Yeah. Can he get his second try? You bet your life he can. Dragons 19 out. They lead by 10 to 8. Barrett. Inside ball to Paul McGregor, who's played well. Beautiful oh, pass to Blacklock, who will go all the way. How good was that? Magnificent rugby league try. They had some numbers out there, the Rabbitohs, some crisp passing. Back to Trindle it comes, shaped to kick, decided not to. Here's wing and a chance for South Sydney. Oh, beautiful pass, it comes back to the South Brilliant. Sydney, number six. Magnificent rugby league try, South Sydney.
Hooky turning it on here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And that's Hooky, that's a try of the year so far. That's unbelievable. Beautiful. Command the pass of the year. That's a great pass there from Hooky. Mark Dean swooping on him in defence. Now Chris Carolina. South have a deep back line set. to step away from the chases coming through. El Masri down the left wing. Kicking back in field. It's a good one from El Masri. Bounces up for Silva. What rugby league is this? Silva scores for Canterbury. What a bounce for Rod Silva. He's out. Swain. They get loud of the fans. Kamali. Hill. Martin is there. Second man play for Ross. Boy will be hard to stop. He can put the glasses down. Marcus will score. And then 15 short of halfway. So this could be the start of the roll on they want for Morley. That is quick hands. Martin and Marcus by with room to move. Polamata coming across it by. He's away, Marcus. He's inside the 20. Now comes it Silva. Marcus by. The king of Olympic Park has scored again. And a great display from both teams. Hill. Hill is strong. Hill is over. It is over. It is over here at Olympic Park because Scott Hill has scored for Melbourne. The Seagulls, their second win with Lions away for Field. Newcastle has rattled. Field oh. decides to hang on to the ball. Then Cliff Lyons, here it is, an open passage to the line. Terry scores. A hit of a forward pass. Doyle from dummy half is five metres out. Lifted up and able to offload. Manley keeping the ball alive with Field. Ten metres out from the line. It comes over the top. Batted on by Peters. Straight in the arms of Moody. It should be good by. Hill is chasing. Field is chasing, but Moody's got too much of a start. The lure is home. Moody scores for Newcastle. And the scoreline, the difference is 16. To Langer it comes. Walters. Lockyer. Has Devere outside him. He had Hancock in support. Oh, oh, great pass from Devere. Hancock back in the team and scores and gets them back within two points. What a pass from Devere. He does it a bit tough or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> he usually leaves it until the last ten minutes of the game, but here he is. He realises perhaps this last ten minutes of the oh. first half is important. Harlan! That's how important it is. He will run across the line and score. Healy gives it away to Stevens. The Brisbane line oh. is now. Oh, miracle ball out the back to Peachy. A metre short. Great tackle by Prittis and Ryan. Long. He'll score and put them back in front. 18 seconds left. Walters gives it away to Lockyer. Walker, a pass to Sailor. They score. Did he drop the ball on the line? He thinks he scored. Simpkins says, yes, you have. And Brisbane will have the chance to snatch a draw here at Shark Park after the siren will have expired. He hits it. It is hooking. It is long and wide. And Cronulla have hung on to win in heart-stopping fashion here at Shark Park. While Brisbane couldn't avenge their earlier defeat to Cronulla, that's just what Sydney City managed to do in Auckland, as both Parramatta and Canberra bounced back from losses the previous weekend to write comfortable wins. Cliff Lyons' has come back from retirement against Newcastle might have given Manly cause for optimism, but a week later, it was South Sydney's Department of Youth that made the difference in an Easter thriller at Brookvale Oval. 70 metres already in this set of six. Trindle, dummy to kick, fired a pass, it came to wing, a great pass to Rodwell. Here they come again. Oh. He got it to hook an outstanding try. <laughs> oh, aren't they on fire? He goes forward and he gets a good run and a quick play. Well, it's really changed things for the Manly side now. Great Coast ball, Coast great ball back to King. Has only wing to beat, gets it back to Menzies. They won't catch him, Menzies will score. Yes, Ruben was going to be away in the open spaces. Trendle, oh, lovely pass to Craig Wing. Oh. He had some support. He couldn't get it. He might have made it. Wing for the line. He got there. Trista, Ferris, scheming, quick hands. Eddinghouse on try number two. The Sharks have scored again. Final tackle now. The crossfield kick might be on. Ferris lines it up. Peachy's offside, I thought. He got the jump on Marcus by and Peachy scores. Ten out on the bounce to Stewart. There's his trademark pass. 
to Clyde on the spin for Price. Quick hands from Hughes in the set for Sailor. Now there's trouble. He's away from El Masri, and you can put down the glasses. Wendell will get the try against the run of play. Silver chases in vain. But first points to Brisbane and Wendell Sailor. In the tackle on Corey Hughes. Last here for Canterbury. Ricky Stewart puts the short one through his silver. And there's a try. Good roll on now. And a good ball out the back by McNamara to Drew. He finds John Cross. Cross got away from one. Here's a chance for the home side. Cross needs to link up. Tone ahead. It's play on. And it's been picked up brilliantly by Ryan Gerber. That's the first try of the match. The football for Warrant so far tonight. Pay. Demick. They go wide and Gerber oh. snaffled it. Like a thief in the night. Gerber picks up an intercept. Tied dummy half. They come to the left, Barrett for Mundine. Mundine pass bullet like for Ainsco, he's away. He got through Pepperbridge. Sort of good and bad news because Luke Patton is back out there. Ainsco's chasing this one through on Morrison. It bounces badly for Morrison. Mundine will score. Mundine for St George in the water. In front of his new home fans has scored the try and should win the match for the Dragons. It was only a stumble from McGregor that stopped him. Now Ward. Standing in the tackle, Nathan Brown, Mackay, they're alive on the left. Mundine, Mundine has Patton, Patton has Ainsco, and Ainsco will score again for St George Illawarra. Their best performance of the season, and perhaps a sign of things to come. While St George Illawarra celebrated their maiden triumph at Wollongong's Wynn Stadium, there was no such joy in the Auckland camp after a 17-8 loss to Balmain that resulted in both Matthew Ridge and Nigel Wagner being suspended for handling referee Paul Simpkins. Easter was much kinder to Newcastle and Sydney City as they both comfortably collected competition points. And with the Sydney football stadium turf being chewed up by hungry parasites, the Roosters went next door to the SCG in round six for another arm wrestle with Parramatta. Water comes in, it's gone away from Rickardson, on to Pongia. Miles has got a chance, Miles is over! Eight metres out, still plenty left. Bonetti again. Now Barnett. Drifting across. And over. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. The strength of a man. Robert Ruff, was it? Certainly was. Ferris. Quick hands, Eddie Housen. Rogers. Kicks for himself. It's a chip. Bradley Clyde is there doing that shot. Oh. Rogers. What a try. Oh. It's a beauty! That's a try of the year! Granada have scored the only one! Great try! Rogers! Good 15 metre gain. Healy. Dykes. Now McKenna! McKenna! McKenna finds the line for Granada! Just one pass off the ruck, and now Ames go into the back line. Barrett running off a long pass. Patton came in. Wishart steps. He's heading for the line. Wishart gets it away. Coiner's over. Mark Coiner's in to score. St. George beautifully engineered. In fact, Pearson has gone back on. I'm sure that you know, place in a moment. Shields is into space. Hughes is coming up on his right. Hughes is away. They won't catch him, will they? No. Hughes is over. David Preachy and Rod Silver especially are in great form in the fullback position, but it's Luke Patton and what I've seen the last two weeks. He's taking giant strides towards the elite company. Mundine! Mundine! Puts on a sprint! Goes inside the 40! Hughes is after him! Flick passes for Hgo! H goes in! That's his number two! Oh, you dragon! McFadden gives it to Nagus. Got away from a couple, great run. Kenny Nagus! They won't have the legs to stop him. Nagus! What a try! And the Canberra Raiders. Well, the floodgates have opened now. Wiki to Payton. Daly! Laurie Daly's in for the try! The skipper. On the last, Trindle elects to run it to Craig Wing. Wing getting into open spaces, being chased now by Darren Lockyer, who can't get him, he's in to score. Excellent start by South Sydney. Tackled by his old sparring partner, Julian O'Neill. Back to length. 
in traffic, does well to get it back to Campion, then through Walters to G, and the big fella has a run. G on the burst, has Chris Walker coming with him on the inside. Good pass from G to Walker, and he's in for his second try in the space of a couple of minutes. And that does wrap it up for Brisbane. He's been in everything, hitting the ball up, his defence has been to perfection today, and his offloads have been first class. Another good offload this time by Parsons to pick up Rodwell and then Smith, then O'Neill, into the clutches of Brad Thorne. Oh, Thorne will have a run. He said if Andrew G can go for a gallop, he'll say goodbye. And with that commanding second half display, the Broncos' nightmare start to its title defence finally found a footing. And on a weekend of wide margins, Melbourne, Penrith and North Sydney also did pretty much as they pleased against inferior opposition. However, nothing compared to the flair that St George Illawarra showed in 99. It was a form of entertainment that often bordered on an acceptable and artistic Mundine. arrogance. Mundine puts it on the toe. Mundine with the chase. Brilliant. And just sort of direct the forwards around the park. Well, it's Barrett, the long ball. Tracy, Mundine, two on one, back inside, Blacklock. They're in again. Mullins, McLinden, wide they go, Mundine, track time, that's the ball game. Vegas is giving chase, Anthony Mundine in front of his home crowd, faithful, and he's got a double. Look at that, whoa! Round 15 in 1990. The green machine. The green attacking machine. Okay, okay. We haven't seen much of it today. There's a kick ahead and Patton is back there. And here we go again. Some room to move. Luke Patton, the 19-year-old. Blacklock is there. Blacklock looking for a hat-trick. Blacklock, hat-trick. You better believe it. He puts it down underneath the red dot. They should be at the circus. The field is back on the open. And there's numbers on a wide blind. Field, inside ball. This time they will not be denied. Michael Gillette. Final tackle, keep an eye on Craig Field. Bad ball from acting hard. Field to the line, searching. Inside ball for Joel Payne. Joel Payne! He gets there. Try number two for the Tigers. And it came off another ball from Craig Field. Craig, Matthew Johns, Andrew at 5'8 this time, runs to them, then gets the pass away, he's looking to back up on the inside, Gidley gets the pass away, Albert's over, Newcastle's in for try, beautiful ball movement. Moody, out in front of him, Andrew Johns dummies to Shields, goes for Hughes, the ball carrier is Mark Hughes, no Shepard according to the referee, Albert, Albert, he's over, well he just looked him in the eye. He eyeballed Michael Hancock, and then he went in and away. He zigzagged and put it over the line. The revered 13 are in front by six. Tremendous rugby league city. Good ball inside. Kevin Welders. Kevin Welders gets a pass away. That's Luke Prittis. And Prittis is all the way for Brisbane. So the pendulum, it swings one way. Now it comes back the other. From... It's gone to him now. He's taken the shot. Yes. He's got the shot. I think it's okay. Yes, it's a point. Newcastle's in front. Pick up Carter. Watch for the inside ball. He shows it. Then Girdler's knocked it on. Uh, uh, it's try time. Rogers. Now he uses his speed. Into the clear. 30 to go. 20 to go. It's a good chase, but it's not good enough. Rogers, too much speed. 10 minutes. Time running out for the Panthers. Carter, lurking wide. Gerdler has plenty of speed. They should score the Panthers. This will level the game up. And he streaks away. Shane Elford. And listen to the ground. Oh, what a try. The Storm number 10's had a fine game today too, Robbie Kearns. Now back to the open side. They come through Penner. This is Stu Kelly. He's got speed to the line and bumps the pass away to Luke Burke. Who gets another try. 20 metres out from the Storm's line. Fella! Fella! He's got support! Back to Jason Smith! He runs on the top of Martin! Magnificent try! Martin had no chance of stopping him. Finds one. 
It's Jared Mills, the winger. Dora here again to Denver. McGinnis. Get the head oh. guy. Kevin McGinnis, great work. The winger's on the inside. McGinnis won't need him. He's going to go all the way. What a try, Kevin McGinnis. Sensational stuff here by the Western Suburbs. Centre three quarter. 50-50 at the moment. Possession earlier on in this match. South Sydney were really dominating. And West spending a little more time out of their own half than in the first half. Crowd not too happy, but it's play on. And the bounce is a good one. Oh. To get back on the inside, Davis. The kick ahead. Who's got the boots? McGinnis oh. try. Oh. He's got a double. There weren't too many bright spots for Western Suburbs in '99, but that was clearly one of them. And the same could probably be said for North Queensland, who scored a resounding victory in Auckland, while Sydney City triggered North Sydney's slide. In an attempt to arrest Manly's dismal start to the season, Bob Fulton stepped down as first-rate coach to make way for his assistant, Peter Sharp. And the seven-match losing streak was immediately halted against Parramatta. Chance here for Gartner. Gartner stepping. They won't stop it. Can Kelly do it? No. Gartner has scored. Brown, change of direction for Lyons. Lyons runs onto it well for Menzies. Menzies accelerates. Try number two for the Sea Eagles. And the old firm of Clevy Lyons and Steve Menzies, they strike again. Lockett, they've probably got more foot speed than Canterbury. When you look across the paddock and in the halves department, Lamb here we again. go again. Into open space. He has some. Oh. Well, the halves, they combine. Fittler dives across. Try number two within two minutes for the Roosters. Cut out ball. Great, ball, great hands from Rigon. Matt Singh, try bound. Matt Singh, try he time. gets around Silva, and Matt Singh's pace was too much. They're just carving them up. Back to the left hand side they go. Kamali firing another pass. Rorty turns on the showtime. Rua pushes away from one tackler. It was Brent Rodwell. A pass goes to ground. Nikau, he'll keep it alive. It comes back to Swain. It's basketball. It's the LA Lakers. He'll gives it back to Robbie Ross. He set fail for the line. They're making an absolute mockery of this South Sydney defence. Melbourne score their third try. They might rack up 100 here this afternoon. Will be played on the last tackle, just on their own side of halfway. Kamali chipping for himself. Just regathered. He's an absolute marvel, isn't he? He has support here. He won't need it. He's absolutely laughing as he crosses the line. Well, how simple was that? Really, that was too easy. Trista, who's brought down 32 metres away from his own line. Fichy was up a dummy half. Nick Graham is in 13. A break made there by Richardson. Down the left flank. Brings the crowd to their feet. The wingers there. Howland, they're home. Cronulla. They pay their first visit to the St. George in goal. Went in the burrow on one side and came out the other. Eights go. A step. Beats one. Beats a second. Links up with Bartram. Bartram gets a hand up for Barrett. Barrett now. Down to Cronulla's 30 metre line. Mundine is jogging alongside him. Mundine. He's away. Mundine. He goes down there and scores. It's 18 points to 16. Bartram. Oh, he's missed it. He has missed the conversion. Final tackle again. Matthew, his younger brother Andrew. Gidley, great hands. Should be another try. Gidley doesn't need Albert. Gidley does it all himself. Thought he might have got there, but Peden around the boot laces. Short side. Off the side of the boot. Mullins! He climbed above the pack. Good defense there. Good covering. Vainicolo biding his time, waiting for Williamson to come. And there's a shot. A, a Long range. Goal. It's there. The deadlock has been broken by that man. We'll go to the open side. Williamson might take the field goal. Here it is. Will we have a tied up ball game? It's successful. 21 apiece. It's a deadlock with two seconds left on the clock. Daly was the decoy. Williamson was the man. What a game of rugby league. Green runs it, then Grubber kicks and regathers. Brilliant work by Green, and then away to Murphy. Murphy able to fire his pass wide. It'll go to Chris Tassel. Tassel will go in and score an excellent try. Oh, great work by Paul Green. 
Superb work by the little halfback. Now the last coming up. 10 metres, 20 metres out Brisbane. Back to Kevin Walters. This is their last chance. To Steve Lemoff. Then to Michael Hancock. Hancock goes for the corner. He's over. Michael Hancock scores the try. Now he has the pressure to get a point. To salvage a point for Brisbane. 30,302 voices are against him, let me tell you. Here's the kick on it. Play hasn't got the legs. It looks good. It's there. Oh, would you believe it? And have a look at Walker. Casually walks up. Hey, what's new? What's doing? Just three days after that game, Alan Langer stunned the league world by announcing his retirement, citing a lack of motivation to maintain his lofty standards. Elsewhere on the Anzac long weekend, Penrith eclipsed a luckless North Sydney side and Balmain outplayed Western Suburbs. With one win from their previous four games, Parramatta was struggling to assert itself on the competition, but their performance against Newcastle in round nine suggested that they were simply warming up. Smith is with it. Cuts out a running second rower. Kelly will score. Kelly's over wide out. Beautiful play, Parramatta. Halfway line. There's the completion rates. Quite high, really, for both. Chance for Newcastle's Moody for the second time. Oh, Moody, big and fast, he's over. Moody's over. Here's Custo. Custo will score for Parramatta. Spent some time on the sidelines with an injury mark corvo so he'll be enjoying getting out there today at stadium australia kennedy great ball mullins says the first try of the match brett mullins in from fullback daly has been allowed to dictate play out there today the inside pass kennedy play on needs some support and arrives his fellow back rower david Ferner, and it's the green machine of old marcus by Kamali, beautiful pass, Hill, puts a grubby kick through, chance for Melbourne, they're over, Robbie Ross, Robbie Ross has scored for Melbourne. Kamali for Hill, numbers, he's through himself, Hill, Melbourne's got another try on the board. Lamb, short ball for Fitler did well. He hung on to it. Now he accelerates. He sprints away and Genius. he scores. Genius. He plants it down. How good is he? Good recovery there from Barnhill. Now Bartram back to the open. Crossfield looking for a straight runner. He found Mundine. What a man to find. And the man. He scores again. Try number two for Anthony Mundine. Lamb. Change of direction. Lamb, the little halfback, he ties the ball game up. Quick play the ball. Final tackle. If they go wide, they've got the numbers. Timmons. Timmons oh, no. loses it forward. It's gone forward. The crowd, they claim it. We're going to the video referee. Trying to get the pass over the top. Let's have a look. Well, it touched, he's touched it's it. It's got to be touched it. Is Barrett on side? Fellas, it's incredible down the sideline. All the players' eyes are glued on the rim. I on think the you'll rim. see the green light here, and we'll see new leaders. Barrett, he gets the decision. With that somewhat controversial call, St George Illawarra notched the first of three victories over Sydney City in 99. While Manly produced back-to-back -back wins under Peter Sharp, North Queensland stretched their unbeaten run to three, and South Sydney survived the trip to Auckland. The Rabbitohs might not have been so fortunate the following week against Cronulla, but their brilliant youngster Craig Wing still managed to conjure one of the year's most memorable moments. Wing, still going. Oh, what a step! What a step! And Craig Wing scores! The well, words fail me. It's, it's brilliant. I think let's just sit back and watch it. This last step to beat Peachy, what about that? He's beaten Healy, Eddinghausen, Rogers and Peachy, all tremendous defenders. 
Well, it's wonderful play, and then he had to raise a second effort to pick his speed up again to get away from them. He's uh, really one out of the box, isn't he, Craig Wing? Stanley finding McKenna. Stepping out of the tackle! Back on the inside! Richardson on the outside! Howland! Howland scores! Oh! He put on a bit of a way in the end goal! And it's 7-1, uh, the Raiders. That's at Bruce Stadium, I should point out. Now, there's Norton getting the ball back inside for Darren Smith. They'll go over and score. Brett Clyde, unstoppable. And Clyde is in after a blindside rush by Canterbury. Center of the ground, Norton again, cutting out Stone, the ball bouncing for Sherwin, then for Glenn Hughes, he's over! Glenn Hughes is over! Canterbury are back in front. Hill switching on the inside, through Kirby and then away to Robbie Ross. Ross will go away and score right next to the post. Kamali. Taking the settler from dummy half to Marquette and then to Martin. Martin coming down towards Barry Davis. Gets away from Davis and Fuller. He's still running and then picks up Scott Hill. Back on the inside to Matt Dyer. This is the Matt Dyer show. 26 points. He had scored up until now. Make that 30 for Matt Dyer. What a return to Perth. This is for Matt Dyer. As he comes to Colin Ward. 12 metres out. Alexander at dummy half. He'll get to the line as well. Brandy scores a four-pointer of his own. Looking for the knockout punch as Elvi gives it off to Alexander. Gower standing wide. Hopkins, good pass to Girdler. Gives it off to Beckett. One to beat. He beat one, he beat two. Couldn't quite get to the line. He stuck the hand out. Plays the ball line. Tim Mander takes with everybody. Penrith have a match-winning lead. Final tackle coming up. Johns, where did they go? Gidley, taken by Buechner. The inside pass, kept alive. Back it goes. They handle it over the back of the hill. from the rafters at the Penrith Football Stadium and this is runner numbers on the inside it's one number in fact and it is Gidley he's allowed to turn around regret now kicking with the left foot the has oh, got the run he's the what a try Newcastle what a the match try saving tackle came from Renoff it's very much to Warren Bolin and Alan Langer on the sideline Fittler straight through he goes the skipper Ran off in some trouble with his shoulder. Talis with ribs. Devere doesn't look where well. he must be in the shed. And here's a bust. Here they go again. Good ball for Walker. Ben Walker. I think he'll have too much pace. Andrew Walker comes across. It's Ben. Big Ben scores for Brisbane. Luke Curtis made a good tackle. Final tackle. Lamb. Runs. Barnett has plenty of speed. One more ball, Rickardson gets over, maybe a question mark on the final pass, but Luke Rickardson. It was sweet revenge for the Roosters after last season's semi-final disaster against Brisbane, and it was also a hat-trick of wins for Manly when they came from behind to down the Cowboys, while Parramatta outplayed Auckland. The Warriors' next outing was one of the year's most amazing matches, as we'll see in a moment another frenetic local derby between the Saints and Sharks. Now Mundine, beautiful little pass, Blacklock's in! Oh, Mundine! Mundine, he sailed in like an angel! Just wait, and then to the left before delivering for Graham, and Graham gets it away. Peachy is there, puts a kick in! Oh, it's all happened too quickly! A touch judge, I don't know that he's got any trouble. It is a try! 14 to the left of the ground for Healy and then a cut out pass and it's found Forrester he's inside the 20 oh he had a play run mark inside win outside Helen goes over and gets his second try of the night unanswered Santa Ridge did well to come up from fullback but Williamson with a brilliant pass. He was on his way, lost his balance. He thought he might have had a double, but he had to hand it off to Mabon. 
One more tackle. They've got numbers. Big numbers. Jones to the corner. Who wants it? Mauatini. He's got it! Jones is there too. Nigel Vaganar spins. Ridge is still hanging back. So too is Jack. Oh, penalty! What a fight back. And what a roar from about seven or 8,000 here. Yeah, the Belmont side uh, obviously having a lot more of the football. Intercept! Oh. Walker! Nobody at the back. Ben Walker giving chase, but they won't catch him. Sailor won't make an impression either. That's the first try. It goes to the Belmont Tigers. John Carlos, a man who's come up with the drop ball, and Brisbane will go white straight away. Walker, Carroll, Carroll for the line, and the Brisbane Broncos are in for their first try. The Tigers read it pretty well. They keep working to the right-hand side, and Philip Lee pops it over to Carroll. Carroll for the line, Tony Carroll. He's got a double, and it's locked up at 10 all here. Greg, I certainly couldn't go through another 10 all draw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, Wayne Pierce or Wayne Bennett like that either this to put the Broncos in front oh, it doesn't look like missing he's got it what a pressure kick from Ben Walker and the Broncos lead by 12 points to 10 and he'll play it now on the Newcastle 30 meter line as Drew scoops it away for Alexander Alexander puts on a sprint puts on a beautiful pass Sattler gives it to Girdler Girdler's in for the Panthers you can almost feel something was on Five tackles gone for Newcastle. Oh, On the attack they are. The kick will come. Matthew Johns across the park. Albert's waiting for it. Albert! Oh! oh. Albert! He has taken wings! Drew for Alexander, a dummy on the inside for Hopkins. He goes out to Cross, who flicks to Domic. Domic's on the 40-metre line. He beats Rudder. He steps out of another. He beats another. He gets it away. And, oh, that's Hicks down the right flank, who scored. But what about Sid Domic? The fifth tack. Medeiros. Andrew Johns. The kick. Moody's going to be the jumper. Moody! He's got the ball. He's got it down. I think it's a try. I think it's a try. Yes, it is. This is a miracle. Fittingly, Newcastle got the verdict and what was both Robbie O'Davis's first game back from his 22-week drug suspension and Paul Harrigan's last hurrah as the Chief finally succumbed to ongoing knee problems and announced his mid-season retirement several days later. The other winners in round 11 were Melbourne, Parramatta, Canterbury and Sydney City. And while five clubs enjoyed buys the following weekend, on the eve of this year's State of Origin opener, there was nothing idle about the way that St George Illawarra disposed of Balmain. And now Bartram, good off lap for Blacklock, juggled it, and now he goes over for the opening try. Very good centre too, Jamie Ainsco, could cover a couple of positions. But unfortunately the selectors said that he wasn't here. Here he goes now. Ainsco plays on the left side and does a great job. Back on the inside for Tracy. And Darren Tracy races away for the second try within three minutes. There'll be bodies in motion. Here goes Ainsco into space. The inside ball for Blacklock. They won't catch him. He'll streak away. Morgan comes across. Blacklock, try number two. Hodgson, first receiver on this right hand side. Again, contact. A brilliant pickup. Barry Davis. What a volley. What a try to the Magpies. Hicks. A long pass. Picked up nicely from Drew. Had the arms free. Got it back to John Cross. He will reach out and score a try for the Pampers. Drew, what a game he's had. Will there be a drop? Look for Dinova. The war of the hook as it's been. Here is Dinova with the field goal. It is there. He has kicked the one-pointer that puts the Magpies back in the lead. You just get the impression that South Sydney are coping with everything Newcastle oh, throws. And there's Brasher. Brasher showing his speed. He still has plenty. And so too does this man. Look at him go. Where's Patton? Sprints away and gets try number two for South Sydney. He got through the first line. He got past Madison, it was. Got out of dummy half. Across with Taylor. Again, there's a choice of runners. Butner. Then offloading for Wilson. Now for Dallas. Dallas should score for the Bears. He gets there. 
got in from the centres. Rutchison was low on the tackle. Now Healy. And with it is Stanley. Up it comes for Richardson. Inside the 20 metre line. Then back to Healy. Beautifully constructed drive for the Cronulla Sharks. On the Sharks 20. Taylor. Away with Butner. Suddenly the speed comes on and there's Wilson. Wilson's away and Step Peachy. Wilson has forced it. Last tackle. Richardson for Healy. Ball is going to come across field. This is for the wing of Colin Best. They fly high, but Peachy's there. The magic man is there. David Peachy for the Sharks. Wade Forrester it was. Priester, they're going to go for the shot. Healy, Steadies, 20 metres out. He's on his way. There was an alternate player taken out, but he's awarded the field goal. With Lady Luck deserting them again, that was the sixth straight defeat for the Nomadic Bears. And by this stage, they had virtually given up hope of stepping onto their new home ground at Gosford in 1999. But on the positive side, round 13 saw the Red and Blacks return to North Sydney Oval in fine style on a weekend that began with the eventual grand finalists going head-to-head -head for the first time. Second man, Timmons. Oh, what a pass! Wishart's over! Wishart's in to score, but Sean Timmons... I thought it was Arthur Beetson! What a pass! Everywhere we've taken them down through the years, they've been a great attraction. Martin buys on his outside. He might do it. No, he passes. Robbie Ross, that's number two. Number two for the double R. Thompson. I might be off the track there, but here he is again. Turning it back on the inside for Mundane. Oh, tremendous run. Blacklock is with him. Blacklock will make it. Blacklock is over. The Dragons are in again! Fiver. Kamali. Second man play. Anderson. Intercepted by Blacklock. That's it. He's away. Guy was after him, but he's turned the motors off. Blacklock is doing the skippy jump, and away he goes. And the belly flop. Up goes the red and white. Good metres here for the Bears also in this first set of six with the ball in their hands. Taylor, grub ring. Oh, beautiful bounce. It came up nicely. Eichert gives it away to Dallas. He's looking for a hat-trick. He sets the ears back. He gets there. Ten metres in from the eastern touchline. Strikes it nicely. The ball working back. Hits the upright. Oh, it came down and landed right on the chest of Jamie Goddard. Lux an absolute fortune. With Stimson as they go back to the left. Rutgerson. He offloads it. Taylor firing a pass. It bounces up for Butner. Into the gap once again. Larson back on the inside. He's supporting. He gets a pass back. It came to Taylor. He got the arms for Butner. He gets it off to Joel Wilson. He scores. A couple of metres from halfway. Fittler stepping. Got away from one. Kicking over the top. And this time it's Mullins with some space. Mullins, four on the outside of him. McLinden, the sprint race is on. Back on the inside, Vayner Colo. Back to Williamson. Williamson, oh, Nagus, brilliant stuff. The Canberra Raiders. Oh, that's the green machine of old. They had the numbers. The chase was good from Miles. Rig on a dummy half. To Walker. Rickardson. Fittler, Fittler, over the top it goes, Singh, Singh for the corner, Singh will get the try, they're not out of it yet. Good defence by Atkins and also in there was Ferner, get ready for Walker's drop goal. Walker from a long way back but no they put it through their hands and they've got some numbers, Matt Singh fires it over Ellsgood, Ellsgood looking for a hat-trick, back on the inside and he finds Julian Bailey. And there's the try that might win the match. A come from behind victory, maybe, for the Sydney City Roosters. 28 metres out from the line. Peter Shields is down again, injured. This is the second time in the game, so the big second row is in trouble. Oh, here's a break being made by Richardson. He's over to score. Russell Richardson is over to score. He improves the position. Fletcher's tackle just outside the 10-metre line. Played back now for Rudder. Another sloppy play the ball. Inside ball for Gidley. Gidley taken down. Gets a pass away. O'Davis is over. O'Davis is in. Newcastle have scored. And takes him to the upright. What a pass by Gidley. Oh. 12 metres out from the Sharks line. 
Andrew Johns, oh, Davis is with him, oh Davis, he's over again, oh Davis is in again. The back line might have contributed all 26 points in that Newcastle victory, but it was the Fords who set the platform with one of the most physical displays in 99. That result allowed Sydney City to steal top spot on the ladder at the Premiership's halfway mark, with Souths and Penrith also camped in the top eight, ahead of eventual grand finalists St George Illawarra and reigning champions Brisbane. The Melbourne Storm might have been in a handy third spot at this stage, but their round 14 failure in Canberra the was the second of three straight defeats. McClendon and McFadden, the Junior Burgers, they put it on again, and it's a try for Schrader. Now Canberra's Mel Malinga, he said, look, no letting up. One of our big problems this year has been our low, below pass in the second half. He said, uh, keep putting pressure on Martin, he's not looking too comfortable at the back. And he said, Crea we're creating plenty of opportunities. Be confident, points will come for us. Magus with a beautiful run, supported then by, I think it was Corvo, back into the centre. And little McFadden is away. They're not going to get him. McFadden goes in. Canberra score. Pongia comes up with another good shot. That one on Daniel Gartner. Sadara scooping up now for Damian Driscoll. Offloading back for Sadaris. The dummy was fallen for by Kamali. And he's away again with Ventis. Here they go with Duncan. Duncan passes back in field and now McCoy. A second try. Oh, the Seagulls haven't had a day like this one for a couple of seasons. Five out. Sedaris. There's a try looming on this right hand side. Hayden for Brown. Brown with a dummy. And able to offload. It may have been forward. It comes back for Menzies. Then for Flu. Well, they're over again. For Stewart. Always has plenty of runners and finds Silver. Rod Silver. Over the top. Hughes on the outside of his man. Oh, El Masri comes back to the centre. They keep it alive again. Oh, what, a try. what a try. The entertainers of the past, they come alive. Stephen Hughes touches down. Craig Wing. Chips for himself. Open space. O'Neill! Oh, the take they'll score here lumens back oh, on the inside well craig wing o'neill lumens the hat trick oh. they break the deadlock probably the most important period of the game at the moment very important wide ball for sherwin hughes has one oh. try silver Canterbury are very good at working into a good field position because they have Ricky Stewart to put them there. Here he goes. Long range shot. That's 45 oh, on the line. Yeah, it over. goes over. It hit the crossbar. Oh. It's one of the longest field goal shots you'll ever see successful. Courtesy of a bounce off the crossbar. The deadlock has been broken. Ricky Stewart's lethal boot has done the job. Dinova. Double round with Mesha. Wide they go, McGuinness and Mosley got the pass away to Barry Davis over on the far side. Dane Dorohy holding it, got the ball out to Hobson. Hobson, he won't fix his opposite number and he's going to go in and score the try. They've hit back all right, the big pies. Just over a month after that meeting, Wests and Balmain went from combatants to bedfellows by forming the NRL's second joint venture despite Parramatta's best efforts to woo the Tigers. While the Blue and Golds eventually missed out on a marriage with the Black and Golds, they didn't receive much joy in round 15 either, with a narrow loss to their arch enemy, Canterbury. Perry one more time. For Norton, Norton away. For Hughes. Hughes for Martini! To the right of the ground. Penner's boot, not a good kick. It's going straight across the ground. David Kidwell. Kidwell! Kidwell's away, he's got Silver to beat, he'll crawl, he makes it! On five. Smith, they've got numbers on the right, he's going back to the centre, he's picked up Silver again, Silver gets it away, it's still alive, El Masri, Hughes, Stephen Hughes, a try for Canterbury, oh beautiful! Coming back on the inside, Mark Hughes, his 50th first grade game today, so another milestone for Hughes.
McDougall got the pass away to Medeiros, a chance here for the Knights. Medeiros got it back on the outside to Mark Hughes. That's great play down the short side. Fletcher is also on there in 17. So Warren Ryan making some changes from the interchange bench. Wide ball. McDougall cutting back in. McDougall for the corner. Can he get it down? The crowd says yes. What does a touch judge say? It's a try. Now it's Kamali. Kamali dummy his way through. Kamali got it back to Swain. On to Martin. What a try for the Melbourne Storm. They butchered one and now they've laid on a beauty. Andrew Johns holding it. They go wide. Albert for the line and he's got the ball down. Medeiros to Peter Shields. Shields always looking to free the ball like he did on that occasion. Medeiros stepping, looking for support. Back it goes down to Butterfield. Butterfield stops. Back to Andrew Johns. Johns getting very close. What a try! Neil Tini. Nice ball. Lions, numbers and plenty of them. Mandries. Bieber gets across. We talk about possession and Canberra have had plenty of it in this second half. Ferner. Ferner with a dummy. Has Kennedy backing up. It should be a try. In fact, Ferner. Dummy. Found the man. Walford. Cunningham chases. Is this another one? It is. Walford gets there. In the far corner. We really did have to win today. Led by 12 points to nil and let it slip. McClendon, Nagus, through comes across. Back oh. for McClendon. McClendon with speed. And Andrew King got him. The second off oh. like the bounce of the ball going Canberra's way. Oh. Mullins, they'll get a late try in the final minute of this game. Oh. Razzle dazzle Canberra. Oh. Jamie Goddard, playing some good football now, but it took him a while to get used to the style. Well, Oh, Joel Wilson came from the clouds, kicks ahead, Saylor comes across, Wilson, oh, this is the individual try of 1999, Joel Wilson, you have won the award. I know there's been some errors in this game, Mario, but there's been some, some great flashes of skill. Well, they had, both these sides have been a little inconsistent, and it continues in this first half, as you see, and I saw played on the plath. But it's, it's the conditions, I'm sure of it, it seems every time... There's conditions like that as we see camping, they're starting to make some holes now. Good offload for Philip Lee. Lee gets it for Walker. Walker around another. Here they come, Brisbane. Berrigan. Berrigan for Renoff. Renoff. He scores a fine try for Brisbane. The Premiers were a long way short of their brilliant best, but it was still enough to tally their fourth straight success. Ironically, during the State of Origin series, which is usually their most vulnerable period. Apart from the games we just saw, competition points were also collected by Penrith, South, St George Illawarra and Sydney City without Brad Fittler. Cronulla quickly recovered from that rooster rampage to salute their favourite son, Andrew Ettinghausen, who became the first man ever to play 300 first grade games for the same club when he ran out against Manly in round 16. The offload, they're certainly going to come up with another four-pointer here. Gets try number 11 for the season. Graham at dummy half away now to Dykes. Stanley. Peachy. He's got Eddingshausen in support. ET's got it now. He popped the pass on the oh, outside to Colin Best. This will be a Cronulla try to Colin Best. A miracle. A beautiful try. Absolutely brilliant the lock forward. Now Dykes across the field through the hands of Stanley. And here's, I uh, know it's Nick Graham. He's got the pass to Andrew oh, Eddingshausen. Oh, oh. You would not believe it, would you? Celebrates his 300th first grade game with a try. The fairy tale has happened here. I told you the script was written. E.T. Unbelievable. Sears back on the field for North Sydney. Once again, it's 13 against 13. Taylor goes to the air. Coming through. Oh, taking the ball brilliantly. Nigel Roy. Stewart plays it. In front of the post, 25 metres out. Taylor, straight past James Smith, fires the ball back over the top to Gary Larson. He runs around behind the post to score a great try, and the Bears might have just done enough to win this game this afternoon. Drew was low on the tackle. Last for the Tigers, and Penrith are down to 12 at the moment. 
So there's real pressure on them, and they could find the overlap lever for robbery. The Tigers, their second try. They're stretching the tired Panthers field. Tigers chasing their first win in six starts. Here's Nabal. Oh, Nabal cannons off the upright and has scored for the Tigers. And wouldn't you know it, it's a Panthers player who comes off the worst. Bialecki bounces to his feet, plays it back. Skipper Letty to the advantage line. Kicks cross field. Clinton Sikorsky. He came from the clouds. Great leap. Great try. Well, it's evened up. 50 50. In the first half, it was all Canberra. Kidwell. David Kidwell. Heads for the try line. Just the full back to beat. He crunches his way over Kidwell. 15 away from his own line, as that picture shows. And then Walker with a beautiful pass for Barnett, and Barnett is away. Barnett's outside the halfway line, and here's Robert Miles. Miles is on his way. Here comes Marcus By. A tremendous tackle. Kamali, Nicker, an offload, and the mule. Kamali, Kamali, an offload. This is Watts, the fullback, stepped off the right foot, support there. Paul Marquette, Tony Martin. And with that victory, Melbourne put the brakes on a three-game losing streak. The surprise of the round came courtesy of Auckland, who outgunned Canterbury, while St George Illawarra thrashed West and Newcastle cruised home against North Queensland. But the Cowboys' magic day was just around the corner. A 14-point beating of Sydney City that surely couldn't be challenged as the season's Sydney biggest City upset. 40 now, run around, which may create space. It does so. Another chance, Nandruku. Inside ball. A beautiful try oh. coming up for North Queensland. You won't see many better. Of course, that helps. Then when you've got decoy runners, you've got players that when you want to find someone on the inside or the outside or in a hole, they're all there. The Cowboys now some big space. Rinse again. Oh, the gap the size of the Sydney heads. And Jellick's going to come up with a try. Peter Ryan will do a bit of kick chasing here. Lockyer. A run it, ran off. Back on the inside, ran off. He changes direction so easily. Third time, Lucky ran off. He got around five. You better make it six. Really get it. They go left. Lock here. Cut out ball. Ran off again with plenty of speed. Plenty of strength. He's two metres out. Lindsay's the tackler. Kamali stepping. Kamali stepping. Still going. What a try. And the determined running from Cunningham. This is good field position now for the Seagulls. Hayden turns it back to Menzies. Nothing on there, though. Oh. But now there is Menzies for the line. What a try for Menzies. Now it's Tuvi skirting out of dummy half. Gets it back to Brown. Brown to Gartner, standing a little flat. Out the back door it goes. Picked up by Hayden. Hayden, Kalala, Menzies, Torres, Hoppawati for the corner. And real pressure now on Manly. As they try to defend this lead. There's four points in it. Swain to Kamali. Kamali holds it up, gives it to Kearney. Kearney gets the defend going, gets it back to Rorty. Rorty for the line. And Matt Rorty will score a try for Melbourne there. Well, they're backing it well and truly. They've locked it up at 18 all. To Kamali. Kamali. Long range attempt at a field goal. And it's over the left dot. It's a one pointer. Marsh, Morgan, Kalish, and now David Penner going for that right hand corner again with the bomb. Man, he's over again. I think the most impressive thing uh, for Coach Brian Smith and his players has been their defence, and I suppose that's their priority now. Is to keep Morgan! Morgan's in the score! After that emphatic handling of another leading contender and Sydney City's inept display against North Queensland. The Yields were now regarded as equal premiership favourites with the Roosters. Most significantly, Brian Smith's side seemed to be running into better form at the right stage of the season. And they gave another good example of that in round 18 when they outmuscled the Melbourne Storm for the second time this year. Penner's on his way, he'll score. David Penner puts it down for Parramatta's second try. That reminded me of McCracken of old when he played out in the centres. Hard running Jared McCracken.
The kick has been regathered by Penner. Smith waits for him, gets it across the back. Morgan floats the pass. Luke Burt's heading for the corner with support. Doesn't need support. He's over in the corner. O'Brien likes to offload the ball. There he goes, Badiris. Johns, not lovely ball. Butterfield, Mark Hughes gets the opening try after just six minutes. Well, they simply must. Andrew Johns to Matthew. Gidley. Well, Swan beaten pointlessly again, and they pick up their third try. Matthew Johns this time. Two handling errors in the game, both by the Sharks. The Stewart turns it across to the right of the ground and joining in Stephen Hughes. Flick passing. Rob Silva with some space. Gets the ball away from El Masri. El Masri will score. About eight metres on the Canterbury side of halfway. They're finding this Canterbury defence almost impregnable. Cronulla, they're giving the ball plenty of air. This is Sean Ryan and got it away for Dykes. Dykes cut out Eddinghausen. It went to Colin Best on the boot. Picked it up again. This has been a great effort. In goes uh, Big Madison. Madison has got... How did he get there? Madison. Kensrington there. Finding Stewart. Stewart's over. He gets his second try of the day and his second career try for Canterbury. So Brisbane get themselves back into a fantastic attacking opportunity. 21 metres out. Across the field, Lockyer chimes in. Wendell Saylor. They won't stop the big man. The position of the ball too. There was a huge gap for him to run into. After there being a fair bit of rain here in Brisbane this morning, the sun now shining. Chance for Balmain. Stimson. Mark Stimson. All too easy. Michael Hancock is coming to give him, give him some help. The last tackle now. Will they go high? Good luck here. Over towards the wing of Morkham. Oh! And Brisbane come up with it through Ryan. They've got plenty of numbers out here too, if they can shift it quickly. Lockyer around his man. He's over the 40. He's over the 30. They're not going to catch the brilliant Brisbane fullback, Darren Lockyer. Runs 50 metres, does it all on his own. They might have needed a late conversion to shade the Tigers back in round 11, but on this occasion, the result was a lot more comprehensive as the Premiers stretched their unbeaten run to six. Other notable outcomes from that weekend saw South Sydney keep Penrith scoreless, Sydney City struggle to overcome West, and Canberra get revenge against Auckland. But as the Raiders continued to walk the finals tightrope, their next task was one that few sides relish, facing up to the floodlights of Shark Park. A chance in front of half-time for Dykes. Good ball, McKenna! There's a chance for Colin Best! He's over! Peachy getting involved on that side. Peachy coming in at 5'8 from the blind side. Bodies in motion. They'll put it over the line. Colin Best gets number two. Healy. And second receiver. Look at the gap. Now the floating ball. He'll get number three. A treble for Colin Best. This Bulldogs defence, which was so good last week against the Sharks, is... Picked up where it left off last week. Anderson gives it away. A good pass as well. Mool into a gap. He comes to Silva. They've gone 60 metres courtesy of the penalty. And Aaron Mool scores the first touchdown of the game. There was a yawning gap there just waiting for him. Kamali taps it on. Marquette. He got it away and they will score this time. Brad Watts to the left-hand side of the post. That might be just about enough for Melbourne. is Walker allowed to offload back to center and now the field field dummy around the halfway mark and support a little flat footed now Lulaway back on the inside Craig Field Field gets it back to Kylie Lulaway being chased by O'Neill gets the pass away to Carlaw that's a good team try lays it back to Garley and O'Neill just out two or three players and Craig Wing down the touchline, back on the inside, he pops it up, and there's the first try for the Rabbitohs. Wing, they need to keep it alive. Wing! Got away from the ball. He is brilliant.
brilliant. Craig Wing in for the try, and the Rabbitohs in the lead. And 12-8 the score in favour of Kevin. Mundine with a decoy runner on the open side. Blacklock comes in, Blacklock stands them up. Blacklock, get it, I've got it away beautifully. And hard it is, I think. Shocking pass from Dunny Hart. Carter obliged to put it up in the air. The jump is on, and it's Adamson who comes down with it. Then reeked away by Dominic. The ball loose, it's with Luke Patton. Patton for St. George. He's on his way. Hensko was pulled back. Beckett coming across the ground. Look at Beckett. Will he make it? No. Luke Patton scores. A 95-metre try. A beauty. It's Colin Ward now, 30 metres away from the... Penrith lines, George Illawarra by two points, Mundine, beautiful pass, Thompson, now McGregor, McGregor in full flight, ah, oh, beautiful fight, lovely to watch him score. So Dead Set Touch Football TV, the little general, plays it on his own 40, now lines, they've got a huge overlap again, here they come again, the Sea Eagles, Menzies in support on the inside, Torrance obviously has the ball, now Hopawate, it's all too easy, another four pointer, thank you very much. You can see Lyons scheming on the left hand side, what's he got up, up his sleeve, oh! oh Lyons to Menzies again, oh. you're a genius Fennick. Nothing going right for Western Suburbs. Yes they do, here comes Lyons. Lyons, will he kick, will he pass, he oh, passes to no. Steve Menzies for the fourth time today, oh. Lyons to Menzies, try time. Cliff Lyons, a 300th first grade game in maroon and white, was another example that not even age could dull his extraordinary skills, and no one enjoyed them more than Steve Menzies, who cracked the 100 try career mark in that romp with a bit of help from the veteran pivot. The defence was a lot tighter in Brisbane, where the Warriors almost upset the Premier's momentum. And Auckland's late-season revival threatened another title contender the following week when Cronulla needed a late sideline conversion to escape Ericsson Stadium. Jones! This error, but right from his own side in their own half. Yeah, it is evident now. You can just tell that the players, great hands. Howlin, kicking ahead. Here's Peachy. What a great play in these conditions. Look at the skill from Peachy just loses it it would have been an absolute stunner now they give it away to the far corner what a mistake driving rain for Healy two from three way out near the chalk strikes it magnificently Healy what a sensational goal Marcus by Beating one, getting it away, Mark is in. Martin goes in to score for Melbourne. 14 point lead for Melbourne. Couple of minutes to go, and uh, there goes another break for Melbourne. Robbie Ross watches on the one, looking for his second try, and he gets it. And I'll tell you what, there's been a few like this. Wagon, he's taken angry tablets, Wagon. He's absolutely carved up his opponent. Longer ball. This is Travis Baker. Scored two tries last week. Just flicks it back on the inside. Spectacular play. David Buka. Buka. Oh yes! Stand up and cheer. He's another young player who's come out of the Newcastle area. Played all his junior rugby league up there and still watches the Newcastle Knights juniors go around in the ball and the flag of the first division. Eric Grove. 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 Reminiscent of his old man. Beating four defenders and strolls over with great pace. Taylor again running to the line. Morrison, dummies. Back on the inside, Petherbridge, and it is a try to the North Sydney Bears. Kosef and Brown. Terry Hill through two. Hill for the line. What a try, Terry Hill. This is where Manly, they need to run on the last tackle. Turvey to Lyons. And Brendan Reeves, a fullback. Back to Cliffy Lyons, a try. I'm sure you can get away with it if you're desperate to get a kick away or fling the ball out, but that wasn't. 
Up through Mundine. Tracy straightens up, showed the dummy, still found Mundine. And support in Blacklock, put down the glasses. Try number 16 for Nathan Blacklock. Well, this is important. The Belmain team really need that sort of defence, although they're going wide and there is some room out here for St George with Ainsco. Ainsco cuts them out wide. He's got support on the inside. It's Mundine. He's over the 40, over the 30. It's Milford coming across. Will Milford get him? Mundine and Milford. And Mundine puts the ball down miraculously. Oh. What a try. How do you get it down? As the St George side is, but they need to maintain some pressure and retain a couple of sets in the St George end. If we see Mundine. Bursting into the clear, Mundine, he's going to score, they're not going to stop the St George Illawarra number six who gets another four-pointer. That's his second try of the afternoon. Just a few days after Balmain decided to merge with Western Suburbs, that was a timely reminder to Tigers fans that forming a joint venture has plenty going for it. And ironically, it also came on a weekend which saw Norths and Manly wage their last ever local derby, some two months before the financial problems forced them to walk down the aisle together. As other clubs sorted out their affairs and futures, St George Illawarra headed for Brisbane to shoot for their eighth straight win against a side that had just achieved that unbroken figure. Then another, and he's over! Oh, what, what an individual performance! But I've got to agree with Peter Sterling. This is as good a defensive effort as the Broncos have put in since day one. And that includes the days as they make a break. There's a break! The Fifth tackle. Dimmick, the big cutout ball. Luke Burt, the crowd thought it went forward. Oh. Back on the inside. Burt, brilliant. Wagon scores. Club who had great success in the early 80s. Parramatta, Mark Tukey. Now Dennis Moran, who's very quick. For Ben Casto, who's a touch quicker. Dallas comes at him. Casto, well, it's his last stand, isn't it? Casto gets across. Now for Kamali. Anderson through the hands. Ross. And here's a break being made by Melbourne. And down the far side of the ground, Paul Bell. Anderson backs up. Anderson. Anderson is there. Anderson's over to score. Bill Harrigan is pointing to the spot. They're starting to fire. Oh, Peachy! The Peachy dummy! Then Dykes! Now back for Peachy! Peachy away! And into the corner! Sean Ryan! Ryan! Try! Try! For Sean Ryan! Well, Houdini! He has struck! Melbourne a chance. Kamali. Kearney. Rorty. Kearney. Kearney. Kearney! Kearney the great! Fifth tackle now for the Roosters. Lamb. I'll run it to Fittler. The cutout ball. Barnett. Barnett gets over after just two minutes. Now, this is a great thing about our game. Six minutes left on the clock. Four points in it. Penrith on the attack. Craig Gower steps his round one. Yeah. He goes over. Gower the great. Options either side. Mears. Jones to the right. Kicking for Lumen's corner. Well, was he onside? The referee, Simpkins, doesn't have to check with the video referee this time. Trendall. O'Neill. Chance here. Great ball. Rob will try South Sydney. The Rabbitohs have hit back. Still some tackles remaining. Stacey Jones kicking oh, ahead for Odin Ryan. Odin Ryan. Who's going to win the chase? It's still lying oh, on the ground. Yes. Is it a try? I think it is. While the Premiership hopes of Newcastle, Sydney City, Cronulla, South Sydney and St George Illawarra all suffered setbacks of varying degrees in round 21, it was a much more satisfying weekend for Canterbury winger Daryl Halligan, who turned out 28 points in the Bulldogs' 56-16 destruction of West. After disposing of St George Illawarra so professionally, the next threat to Brisbane's unbeaten stretch was Newcastle. And once again, the Premiers rose to the occasion in front of their home fans. Wendell Saylor cleans up 10 out of his own line and got open spaces in front. He has got about He's 60 home. metres to go. He's got Andrew Jobs chasing. 
and he's carrying a groin, so Wendell comes back a gear, puts it over the line. Now Prittis. Got a pass away. Lockyer gets the ball into Michael Nuvez's chest and Nuvez in for try number two. And Berrigan it is who'll play it just outside the 30 metre line. Talos. Dummies back to Shane Walker, tramples over one, steps out of another, sidesteps another, gives the ball to Shane Walker, and Walker is in. Great offload by Mark Guy to pick up Ryan Girdler, who simply was right on his hip. Now to Sid Domic, and does well to get it back to Brad Drew. Drew trying to sneak his way through, he's able to unload to Ryan Girdler. That is an excellent rugby league try. <laughs> now the kick on the last, brilliantly taken Steve Carter. Just plucked that so well out of the air. Then picks up Ryan Girdler. Girdler oh, finds the dummy and gets away down the left-hand side. Pass on the inside. Will be picked up by Robbie Beckett. Has he got the pace? He certainly has Beckett. He'll race away and score. He's chased from behind by Andrew Fru. Can't get him and Beckett scores a terrific try. Cross. Switch back on the inside to Tony Fulatua. Then to that man Ryan Girdler. Girdler able to get his pass away to John Cross and there is the half century. And they're just inside their own 40 metre line. This is the last tackle. It'll be interesting. They've gone for the bigger kicker, but he's gone for the grubber kick. This is play on for Blacklock. And a regather for Blacklock. Blacklock, look at him go! Look at him go! Nathan's over! Blacklock's in! First division today. I'll come back to that. Ainsco. Ainsco! Fins away! Gets acceleration from it. Then it's with Rodwell. Now it's away for Tracy. Wing pursues. Ainsco's there. Jamie gives it to Blacklock. Blacklock is in. That is, that is one of the rugby league tries. That might be the best of 99. That was sensational. 32 nothing. How good was that? Uh, you didn't see much better do. That was exhilarating. It's the Dragons at their best. It's Rugby League at its best. And Jamie Ainsco, we spoke about his involvement earlier, pushes straight through the tackle of Hookie. Now, from Lance Thompson, they switch the point back to the left of the ground. And Patton is away from one. A one-handed pass away for Ainsco. And then Wishart comes back in. And the 14 is Craig Smith running to the 20-metre line. Got it away for Brown, Brown away for Rodwell, Rodwell on for Barrett, Barrett on for Big Pearson, Pearson, go yourself big fella! And Melbourne really going to have to up the ante in defence because they're falling off and they're looking very lethargic around the middle. Now Kamali, they've got an overlap here Melbourne, if they can swing it wide as Aaron Mill busts down the sideline, he's got Bay on his left, he's got Kamali on his right, he won't make up his mind, he's springing, he's going to get there himself Mill, what a try! He sprints 50 metres, he had support, he didn't need it! Nine metres out from Marcus Bay to Kamali, now to Robbie Ross chiming in, nice quick hands out to Tawira Nakao, can he keep the ball alive? He whips it back, picked up by Watts, they certainly are a razzle-dazzle football team from Rorty to Bell. Now to Gaia. Gaia is going to get there, is he? You bet your life he is. Gaia is going to stroll around and plant the ball behind the black dot for another try. Just as Melbourne hung on to deny the Warriors, there were also difficult days at the office for Canterbury, who survived a spirited North Sydney comeback, and Sydney City, who were rescued by Brad Fittner at Leichhardt Oval. Freddie and the boys then fired up in a bid to stop the Brisbane juggernaut at the start of round 23. But all they got for their effort was one of the season's most heartbreaking defeats. Ben Walker. He'll regather! Oh! Has he got it down? He points to the spot, Harrigan. Last tackle now. Charge down. Charge here. Land goes looking for somebody faster. Rickinson's away! Rickinson will score! Rickinson scores for Sydney City. This is a finish. Fitting of a clash between these two. Berrigan for the corner. Berrigan thinks he scored. So does Bill Harrigan. Bill Harrigan points to the spot. Lockyer wants it now. Here's the shot. Here's the shot. Bill Harrigan's Go hand Go goes up, up, up. One point to Brisbane. Brisbane have won it. Brisbane have won it. 
Mears in there. And out of there quickly, looking for runners. Looking still. Left alone, Mears! Great ball! What a try! Some running repairs on him as Nigel Wagner steps. Nigel Wagner! He backs himself. He stood up Patton. Nigel Wagner! What a save from Patton. What a brilliant run. Now they've got him on the rack. Beverly, Beverly, that's an offside tackle. And he's a water of penalty try. So scrambling defence again by the Panthers. Smith, wide they go. Demick, Kidwell, David Kidwell stepping. They won't stop the big man. Gower, Carter, Sattler playing out the centres. Scotty Sattler, nobody in front of him, chased by Penner. That's a great try to Scott Sattler. Ten metres out. We've got numbers on the left. Casto with the one-pointer. He makes no mistake. 15 out from the line, the centre of the park. O'Brien it is. Everybody's got to step up to the plate now. Here's for Matthew Johns. Puts a grubber in, now Davis will score. There's try number two, beautiful stuff. Rahihi was involved in that previous play, and now Matthew puts it out the back for Butterfield to loft a pass over for Andrew Johns to go through a gap. He's inside the 20, he's come to the 10, up comes o Davis, and Robbie takes the quarter. Andrew with a little kick, he's looking for the regather, the bounce is important, oh, he puts a bat on it. Now Craigie puts it inside, Matthew puts it outside, Craigie puts the ball over the shoulder, then a flick pass, have a look at this for Razzle Dazzle. Now Andrew puts a kick across, they're going to score, they're going to put it down, they are going to score, that is a miraculous try, that is beautiful, that is entertainment. In the end it was 60 blot. The biggest win that Newcastle had ever had and the second worst defeat in South's 92 year history. But it wasn't the only blowout that weekend that Jason Croker's four tries helped Canberra steamroll North, Cronulla crushed West as expected and Manly avenged their round seven defeat to Balmain. Strangely enough, the Sea Eagles season highlight wasn't actually a victory but their incredible comeback draw with Brisbane in round 24 that kicked off with an equally astonishing finish between Newcastle and St George Illawarra. Now for Butterfield! Butterfield's over! Can't understand for the life of me why he would chip over the top there. He's only got one man to beat. We know how good Mundine is on his feet. Why didn't he have a go? Matthew Johns unloading for Butterfield. Butterfield away for Craigie. Craigie is in space. Full back to beat. He does the same. Gets the regather. He's over. Owen Craigie. Craigie is over. Brown, generating play down the blind side. H goes away. Davey will score, will he? Now he gets it in. Brown will score. Brown will score. And the Dragons, they have scored behind the uprights. They will convert. They will win the game. It may well be a pivotal time in their seasons. We see Andrew Johns leaving the field. He was injured in the play before that's enjoyed. Here's a chance. Oh. No one They've got a big open side now and they'll use it through Sattler and Cross wants to offload and does. Chance now for Shane Elford delivers it. Domic back on the inside. Beckett away from a couple for Girdler. Girdler stepping off the right boot and Fendi puts it out the back. That's a miracle ball. The second of the weekend. Looks up, sees the try line only a metre away. That's been batted back. Touched by Penrith. Is it six to go? Will it be a try? Will he try? He did very well. 11 and a half minutes into the game. Two points to nil in favour of Brisbane. A penalty goal at the third minute. As Lockyer joins in, slices through. Carroll's with him. There's four points coming. Carroll's on his way for the uprights. And he makes the first successful visit. Curtis's pass, a shocker. Ben Walker. Now for Michael DeVere, extending and putting it over the line. Gartner now. Ten metres from the line. 
King away for Lyons. Lyons shows it, gives it, crouches with it. Menzies runs it, decoy, then Lyons. It's a try for Brendan Lee. Kubi. Right. Terry Hill. Terry Hill. Terry Hill. He's down the right of the ground. They're not going to get him. And yo, he's over. He's over. Terry Hill's over. In the corner. 20 out. On the touchline for Brendan Reeves. Can he do it? It's on its way. It looks good. Yes. It looks good. It's there. It's there. It is 26 holes. I don't believe it. Again, it comes to Stimson. They keep it alive. Feel. Players outside, and he looks for the in goal area. It's a good kick. Ah, oh, Safoski couldn't come up with it. On the halfway line there, pools of water forming quite noticeably there. It's Mark Tukey. Bust him open. He got past Kane as well with a step. What a piece of play from the big man. He got the ball back to David Penner. Oh, what a Parramatta try. Possession still heavily in favour of Parramatta. Gillette got past one. Gave it back to Joel Kane. Got across the line, but did he get the ball down? So an era ends at Leichhardt in the only fitting manner, with Balmain victorious in their final fling there before merging with Western Suburbs. While our highlights package of round 24 showed several nail biters, including two draws, the rest of the weekend was fairly lopsided, with Melbourne, Cronulla, Sydney City and Auckland all running up 40 points plus. The Warriors repeated the feat seven days later, only this time it came against finals bound opposition as they handed Newcastle its biggest defeat in 12 seasons of competition. Simon again in control, and he kicks for out and Ryan! Out and Ryan! He might end up playing for Great Britain in the Tri Series. Robert Mears. Suggestion of Bannon is deep. Kicks to the end goal. Nigel Vaganar's flying. Nigel Vaganar! Brilliant! Looking desperately for an inside runner. Now Dimmick, scheming, probing. The kick is good! Shabotsky will score! Trenton Shabotsky! One and a half minutes to halftime. Smith again. Dimmick now. Tukey this time. Dimmick run round. McCracken in. Cut out ball. Shabotsky! Shabotsky! For the corner! Shabotsky's there! Oh! Trenton Shabotsky! Not a good sign early. He was pushed off. And the Dragons are deep with Barrett, right back to the 30 metre line, Mundine, then for Bartram, Rigon is there and he'll pass away, and Tracy, Tracy gets there for the Dragons! Fletcher, cut out ball, missed out Barnhill, Barnhill and then Rigon gets around Blacklock, and then inside for Barnett, the Roosters 20 metres out, Barnett takes on Patton, now 5 metres out, dumps the pass back, Fletcher gets there for Sydney City! And 18 points to eight. Hundy and Tracy. Then across with Bartram. Into the arms of Barnhill and away. And pushes away from Rigor. Bartram in rare fall. Wayne Bartram has scored for the Dragons. And if North Sydney happen to score a try in the next five or ten minutes, they're going to be very hard to stop. Some real yeah. urgency about their play too, North Sydney. Butner for himself. Oh, he got the bounce. Michael Butner. He got an intercept try. He scores a brilliant double. Jason Taylor has players in motion. Taylor runs himself. Again, he's into a break. Pecklebridge, there's nobody quicker. And Scotty Pecklebridge, that could be the game breaker for the Bears. Still nil all here at Penrith. Alexander to Sattler. He throws a dummy. The gap opened up for Scott Sattler. Full back to beat. Fires it out to Henson. Henson, he gives it out now to his winger, Hickson. Penrith are in for the first try. Well, they have. A, you've got to pay a lot of credit to the, the Penrith defence, even though in recent times they, uh, they haven't done that well. But uh, as far as bottling up the two danger players, they've certainly done that with great ease, actually. This is a good return to the football from Robbie Beckett. Girdler, a breakout oh. here. Oh. 
They are going to have too much pace from one end of the field to the other. A young Brett Atkinson, a Penrith junior, coming through the ranks, scores a magnificent try. They're on their feet here at Penrith Stadium. Just as the Penrith faithful farewell Greg Alexander, it was also a goodbye to Canberra's playoff prospects after that loss cost them the chance of leapfrogging Brisbane into eighth spot. That result meant that the Premier's destiny was now back in their hands after having their unblemished run soiled by Parramatta. A win over Canterbury in the last home and away round of 99 would seal a spot in the semis. And after some anxious moments, that's exactly what happened. Hard to stop Gordon Tallis! He's done it! He has done it! The raging bull! Still a very good attendance. This could be a scrum win against the feed. Unheard of. Stewart and Silver. And what a place for it to happen. Silver will score. Silver scores. I think you've ever seen him out of the headgear. They're 40 metres out from the Canterbury line. Brisbane on the last tackle. Left boot of Lockyer. That is a high kick from Darren Lockyer. And it bounces up. It's play on for Brisbane with Sailor. 10 metres out. Wendell popping towards the line. This will be a Broncos tie. They're over. Peter Ryan! I think they're looking to go for a shift now. They've got him, got him on numbers. Matthew Johns runs up, slipped it around the corner into the knees, and the back comes Matt Singh. Here is Lamb. Lamb gets up to halfway. Back for Apo. They may not catch him. Apo from behind gets the pass back for Singh. Magical play from the Roosters. He's headed for the bench. Andrew Johns. Well, this match, it turns. Roosters still lead by eight. Fitless kick for Rigon. Needs a bounce and gets it. Then it comes away for Wood. Now for Rickardson. Rickardson running like a centre. Rickardson scores for the Roosters. Smith. Again, nice long moving ball for Barnes. Kalis. The growth. Back for Barnes. The great offload, Jason Smith. Parramatta. Smith improves that position. 11 metres out from the try line. Trindle. Looking to get Craig Wing involved. Wing will stroll over. His second try of the game for Craig Wing. So now, play is on the Magpie 40. Mears again getting some yards out of dummy half. Turns the ball back on the inside to Cliff Beverly. Another Warriors try. Magpies five metres on their own side of halfway. George Arliss trying to to get the black and whites moving forward. Dale Bonner, nice pass. Here's a chance for them now. Brooker, he's going to go all the way. Brooker, he's got Manuel coming at him. Will he get there? Yes, he will. Beautiful try. Orford, got it back. McLinden into space. Full back to beat, turns it back on the inside. Ferner stepping, still going David Ferner. Fires it back to Payton. It's been knocked down. Tackle count restarts. Wolford over the top it goes. Williamson over the top again. Vayner Colo and the Raiders are in in the corner. I had to call on some teenagers this year. The Belmain coach, Wayne Pierce, 16, Luke O'Donnell, only 18 years of age. And this is Lalo Milford. This guy's got a ton of pace. Laurie Daly coming across. Can he get there? No, he can't. Lalo Milford. Scores a good individual try for the Belmain Tigers. Two tackles left for the Cowboys. Goldthorpe kicking early in this tackle count. Sears goes across. It's well placed in the chase again. Prince. Well, Sears got away from Prince. The chase wasn't good enough. Sears. Taylor. He's got to go 60 metres. Will Jason Taylor have the pace? They're coming at him from all directions. Taylor, he's never run so far in his entire life. Quick play the ball. Soden, Soden. Oh, last week he was one metre short again today. Across, Taylor. Chits for himself, taken out. He scores. Drayson Taylor. 16 to 8. Mundine kicking for the far corner to Wishart. Takes it brilliantly, puts it down. And they will be on their feet here. It's Wishy Day. And sometimes it's just very hard as a player to keep your mind on the job, knowing that you're already there. It's not by one, he makes another great bust. Full back to beat. Cuts back oh. on the inside. Blacklock chasing. Fires it out, and the support is there and through. And that's a good try to the Manly Seagulls.
So Andrew Frew grabs Manly's last ever try as a standalone club. Just as Jason Taylor did for the Bears, the Lower Milford did for Balmain, Justin Brooker did for the Magpies, and Craig Wing did for South Sydney. As one chapter in league history ended, another one began with the top eight poised to contest the most open title race in living memory. Cronulla might have claimed the minor premiership, just ahead of Parramatta, but the consensus was that just about any one of the eight qualifiers could seize the crown.